I used to hate this necklace. To me, the whole effect looked wrong. Too large, too green, too garishly ornate. But ever since my mother died, I wear it every day. Stupid neighbors think I killed their cat. Well, did you? Of course not! Don't get a dead one. <gasps> I'm back. A missing leg is bad luck on Chinese New Year. You broke it, you buy it! No, I will not bring such defective food to our Chinese New Year party! Who do you think I am? Whatever. You carry! at the table. <laughs> when the platter of steaming crabs was passed around, Waverly was the first and she picked the best crab, the brightest, the plumpest, and put it on her daughter's plate. And then she picked the best crab for Rich and another good one for herself. And because she had learned the skill of choosing the best from her mother, it was only natural that her mother knew how to pick the next best ones for her husband, her son, his girlfriend, and herself. And my mother, of course, considered the four remaining crabs and gave the one that looked best to old Chong because he was nearly 90 and deserved that kind of respect. Thank you! You're welcome! And then she picked another good one for my father. That left two on the platter, a large crab with a faded orange color and number 11, which had the torn off leg. I thought I was doing the right thing, taking the crab with the missing leg. But mother cried, no! I remember the hungry sounds everyone was making, cracking the shells, sucking the crab meat out, scraping out tidbits with the ends of chopsticks, and then everyone started talking at once. Chess! Yes. The brain. Yes. The brain. Yes. The brain. Yes. I don't like crab. Like you to... So, I told my daughter, why marry poor when you can marry rich? And now, she's gonna marry rich, like I said. Why are you wearing that color? It makes you look too young. It was cheap. You're not eating the brains. The brains are the best part. That's gross. That one doesn't know how to eat Chinese food. Crab isn't Chinese. How do you know? It could be. Nice haircut. Thanks. David always does a great job for me. You mean the guy on Howard Street? But he's gay. So? You should see my guy, Mr. Rory. Although he probably charges more than you could afford. Mom! I don't like crab! It is a do it do Well, maybe I could afford Mr. Rory's prices if someone's firm paid me on time. You girls, stop fighting. Right, we'll discuss this at another time. Mom, I hate crab! Well, every time I try to talk to you on the phone, you can't talk then either. Listen, June, I don't know how to tell you this, but that stuff you wrote, well, the firm decided that it was unacceptable. You're lying. You said it was great. I know I did, but I was trying not to hurt you with feelings. Well, well, the first write is, write up isn't supposed to be perfect. Like there's there's rewrites and the first rewrites free. I'm trying to get them to pay you, but you know, it's just they don't want to. Well, tell me then what, what you guys need to be changed. What not June, I can't. We're a big firm. We need someone who understands our style. Your style? You can't teach style. You're born with it. I got style. <laughs> threw it away. It smelled like death. Because it was dead. Maybe it was alive and it just...
smelled bad. Yeah, mom. Oh, I have something for you. Me? It's, it's kind of ugly. And Shania, this is beautiful! Now, chin up. <laughs> you are a gorgeous creature. I guess my mom didn't kill you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha